Hello, hello. Welcome to Rise Above with Tammy Lynn. I'm Tammy Lynn, and I'm honored to have this opportunity to speak into your life, to empower and encourage you to continue running your race, fighting that good fight of faith, and finishing strong in Jesus' name. I was preparing to um, make a video message to release today, and as I was in the Word, the Holy Spirit stopped me in my tracks and highlighted Luke 5 regarding Simon Peter and the miraculous catch, the miracle catch. And he showed me something that I had not seen before. And he was speaking to me about prodigals in this story. The Lord continues to speak to my spirit that it is homecoming season for the prodigals. I am decreeing prodigals come home. I am prophesying that prodigals are coming home in the name of Jesus. It is the will of the Father for the one who strayed away from him to be found and reconciled back to him. Colossians 1.13 says they are being brought out of the dominion of darkness and brought back into the kingdom with the one who loves them. We know that he put the prodigals in the wombs of their mother. And we know that he put them in there with a purpose. And even as they are living this straight life, this rebellious life, God has purpose in it. And he is going to bring forth a greater purpose from this reconciliation that is taking place between him and this one sheep who strayed away from them. And their purpose is to go forth building the kingdom of God, doing ministry work, and bringing hope to those who are hopeless and delivering the good news of salvation that we all find in Jesus Christ. I am so super excited about this message that he highlighted to me and we are going to go and we're going to read Luke 5 together and I encourage you to go and spend time with the Lord and read it yourself because I believe if you are standing in the gap for a loved one and you have been praying the will of the father which is for him and this loved one of yours who is a prodigal to be reconciled back to him then he is going to perform it he says when you pray my will my will will be done he also says it is not his will that the one who strayed away be lost. That is why he left the 99 to go after that one. He is showing us that that one matters. That one that you love that is lost, that has strayed away from God, matters. It matters to you and it matters to God. And because you have stood in the gap and you have partnered with him for his will to be done, he is about to astonish you. He is about to answer you your prayer. He is about to send this one that strayed away from him back to you. And when they come back to you, they are not going to look the same and they are not going to be living as they once were. Glory. Hallelujah. Come take a look at Luke 5 with me. And I am going to read out of the Passion Translation because there are some words that he has just been speaking to my spirit that I know that I have spoken over in the last several months. And here is just, they're all just lined up. I'm telling you people of God, he is coming with the shockwave of his glory. And this shockwave of his glory is going to transform your life. It is going to transform the lives of prodigals. It is going to transform everything around you. It is going to bring transformation to relationships. Glory. Hallelujah. So beginning in verse one, it says on one occasion, Jesus was preaching to a crowd on the shore of Lake Galilee. A vast multitude of people was pushing to get close to Jesus to hear the word of God. He noticed two fishing boats at the water's edge with the fishermen nearby, rinsing their nets. Jesus climbed into the boat belonging to Simon Peter and said to him, Let me use your boat. 
push it off a short distance away from the shore so I can speak to the crowd. Jesus sat down and taught the people from the boat. When he had finished, he said to Peter, Now, row out to deep water to cast your nets, and you will have a great catch. Master, Peter replied, We've just come back from fishing all night and didn't catch a thing. But if you insist, we'll go out again and let down our nets because of your word. When they pulled up their nets, they were shocked. Hello, shocked. I'm telling you, he is getting ready to bring a shockwave of his glory. They were shocked to see a huge catch of fish and their nets were ready to burst. They waved to their business partners in the other boat for help. They ended up completely filling both boats with fish until they began to seek. When Simon Peter saw this astonishing miracle, he knelt at Jesus' feet and begged him, Go away from me, Master, for I am a sinful man. I'm going to stop right there for a moment. I am just sensing a miraculous intervention in the lives of prodigals, in the lives of the one that you have been praying for. They have been doing their own thing, but the Lord is coming and he is stepping into their boat. Glory, hallelujah. He is stepping into their business. Glory, hallelujah. And he is going to bring an, an astonishment upon them by what he does. This divine intervention, this is Going to, it is going to be miraculous. This is a road to Damascus moment. I'm telling you, the Lord is getting ready to step into their business. He is about to do something that is going to catch their attention. He used this great catch, this miraculous catch of fish that overtook them, and he had to call his business partners, but he used this great catch of fish to catch the attention of Simon Peter. The Lord is about to do something to catch the attention of his prodigal, of your loved one. Glory. Hallelujah. It is going to be an, an astonishing miracle that they are going to testify of. And just like Simon Peter, he's begging him, go away from me, master, for I am a sinful man. <laughs> they have been sinful. They have been rebellious. Simon Peter is not a prodigal in the story, but the Holy Spirit is speaking to me through this story about prodigals, that he is getting ready to step into their boat, into their business, bringing forth a divine intervention, glory, hallelujah. He is about to catch their attention, their, them, the sinner, the rebellious one, the prodigal. But the good news is, is he loves sinful people. This is why he sent his son to die on the cross. <laughs> because he loved us so much that he wanted us reconciled back to him. You and I are a living testimony of that. <laughs> we, we at one point was not fully loved living for God either. We could say we loved God, but we were not fully living for God. And he did something that caught our attention. Are you with me? I know that I can testify of this. He caught my attention. And when he caught my attention, I'm telling you, my life transformed. Everything around me transformed. Glory. Hallelujah. Simon Peter Verse 9, Simon Peter and the other fishermen, including his fishing partners, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, were all struck over the miracle catch of fish. I'm telling you, he is bringing astonishment. He is bringing a miraculous catch.
catch. He is bringing forth a catch that is going to reconcile his people back to him. And they are going to be all struck in his glory. They are going to be all struck in this divine intervention. Glory. Hallelujah. People of God, you cannot limit or measure how God can and will bring an answer to what you prayed, which is his will. And when you are praying for the salvation of a loved one, that is the will of God. I know it looked like an impossible situation. I know that they told you they don't believe in God. I know that they told you don't talk about that Jesus stuff to me. I know they told you that. But Jeremiah 32, 27 says, He is the God of all flesh and there is nothing too difficult for him. Luke 1, 37 says nothing is impossible with him glory hallelujah Jesus answered do not yield to your fear Simon Peter from now on you will catch men for salvation after pulling their boats to the shore they left everything behind and followed Jesus Glory, hallelujah. I'm telling you people of God, he is about to step into the boat of the prodigal. He is about to step into the business of the prodigal. He is about to catch their attention. He is about to remove the scales from their eyes. He is about to open the eyes of their understanding. He is about to soften their heart. He is about to give them a new perspective of who he is and who they are. Glory, hallelujah. And I'm telling you, in this miraculous catch <laughs> catching their attention he is going to bring a miraculous transformation glory hallelujah I know that you are just praying for their salvation but he says it right here that from now on you will catch men for salvation glory hallelujah you didn't know that you were praying for an apostle you didn't know that you were praying for a prophet you didn't know that you were praying for a prophetess you didn't know <laughs> You didn't know that. But he is an Ephesians 3.20 God. He is about to blow your mind. He is about to shock you with his glory. Glory, hallelujah. And I'm telling you, when he catches the attention of these ones, life is not going to be the same. They are going to rise up from the grave. They are going to find not only their salvation, but they are going to go forth helping others find their salvation through Jesus Christ. Glory, hallelujah. And he says they're going to leave everything behind. It's going to happen just like that. Glory, hallelujah. It is a road to Damascus moment. Hallelujah. People like God, whoo, I almost just can't even contain it. He is saying he's going to overtake them. He's going to overtake them. And he is reconciling them back to him. And he is raising them up for his glory. And whenever he does this, again, life is not going to be the same. And the sin is just going to drop off. They're going to leave the addiction behind. Glory, hallelujah. They're going to leave the wrong relationships behind. Glory, hallelujah. They're going to leave it all behind. They're going to drop their old ways. They're going to drop it all. And they're going to pick up the cross. And they're going to follow him. Glory, hallelujah. The Lord says, you are about to see. About. Man, there is that word, about. You are about to see the answer to your prayer, people of God. It is his will. It's been his will all along. You have not been praying for that prodigal in vain. I'm telling you, spouses are coming back to the father and coming back to you. You will get the knock at the door. Nephews and nieces are returning to the father and they are coming to you. But again, they're not going to look the same. They're not going to talk the same. Their old life is gone. In an instant, it is gone. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People of God, he's saying they are not coming back to you the same. They are coming back saved, <laughs> sanctified, set apart and set on fire for his glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. We give you all the praise, honor, and glory right now. Thank you, Father God, for your faithfulness. Thank you for opening the eyes of the blind. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you for setting the prisoners free. Glory. Hallelujah. He was showing me recently the powers of darkness. It is the powers of darkness that has been pushing these ones. That one that you love 
love, that one that's strayed away from God, that one that is strayed away from you, that one that there's been like an estranged relationship going on because they don't want you talking about God with them. They don't want to know that you are praying for them. So it is kind of create a hindrance in your relationship. You don't even feel like you can fully be you when you're around them. But God is about to do a new thing because he has raised up a standard against the enemy and he is pushing back the powers of darkness. The powers of darkness that has been pushing them away from him. Pushing them away from you. The powers of darkness that has been blinding them. They have been living with spiritual blinders on. Come on, Holy Spirit, help me out. They've been living with spiritual blinders. They believe the lie of the enemy. They believe there wasn't a God. They believe that they didn't have a purpose. They just believe that all was just what it is. It is what it is. We were born and we just die and that's just the end of it. Well, the devil has been lying and he is about to be exposed. Glory, hallelujah. Because whomever the sun sets free is free indeed. And he is bringing forth his truth in the lives of these ones. These ones that have strayed away from him, he is bringing it in. And it is going to open the eyes of their understanding. Glory, hallelujah. His truth is about to set them free. He is removing the spiritual blinders that have had them in bondage. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. People of God, get ready to testify. He said that this is a season he is putting testimonies upon the lips of his people. And you are about to testify that he has triumphed gloriously. That he reconciled your loved one back to him. And you are also going to testify because when God restores, he does more. Amen. So not only is he's bringing forth this salvation upon the one that you love and reconciling them back to him, but he is setting them on fire for him and they are going to go forth bringing the good news of salvation that we find through Jesus Christ. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. People of God, continue to stand firm on the word of God. Stay strong in your faith. And until next time, shalom.